The Cube at Hadoop Summit 2014 is brought to you by anchor sponsor Hortonworks. We do Hadoop. And headline sponsor, WAN Disco. We make Hadoop invincible. Welcome back, you're watching theCUBE. We're live here at Hadoop Summit. I'm Jeff Kelly with Wikibon. We're wrapping up day two of three days of coverage here at the conference. I'm joined by my colleague at Wikibon, Stu Miniman. Welcome to theCUBE, Stu. Hey Jeff, glad I could stop by. Of course, lots of activity going on in the Valley always, so uh, exciting to stop by Hadoop Summit, my first time. Uh, well, yeah, so you've been here for all of about 30, 45 minutes, so uh, <laughs> what's your impressions of the show? Well, you know, at Wikibon, we always like real-time analysis, Jeff, so uh, I, I, I was scouring the show floor, really understanding uh, updates on uh, virtualization, what like VMware's doing with their big data extensions, with 2.0's coming out, <coughs> talked to a bunch of the infrastructure players, uh, looking at cloud, and you know, let, let's talk about what, you know, that's having a huge impact on uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, big data in the infrastructure. It's a, it's a good point. We haven't talked too much about cloud today, um, and you know, we were uh, we we're conducting a survey at Wikibon, as you know, uh, around big data deployment models and among other things. And one of the interesting things that we got back was that 56% of practitioners who've deployed big data in some way, some form or another, are using the public cloud. 26% are planning to in the next six months. So that's you know, 75, 80% of, of, of practitioners. Um, Talk a little bit about, from your perspective, where big data fits in the larger cloud discussion. Is it, is it, is, is it a good fit? So, you know, Absolutely, we think the intersection of cloud and big data has huge potential. Uh, as uh, you know, Wikibon uh, Chief Analyst Dave Vellante says, uh, big data actually gives the cloud something to do. Uh, so, uh, you know, for, for certain environments, especially if I need to have a massive deployment rapidly, you know, the cloud is great for that. Uh, the, the, the challenge, of course, is always that balance of what am I going to rent versus what am I going to buy. Uh, and so, for you know, small temporary deployments, clouds make great sense. Mm -hmm. um, but from most people I've talked to, you know, cloud is not, you know, the primary deployment model today. Uh, people are buying, you know, <laughs> bare metal, you know, machines or they're, you know, looking at infrastructure and, and most of the environments are relatively small, you know, mm -hmm. kind of 30 to 50 nodes, you know, not the, you know, thousands of nodes that the guys like, you know, Yahoo and some of the others here, uh, you know, would be doing. Right. Well, I mean, I think the cloud has a, has a, has a big role to play in big data as, as this market matures. I mean, there's some, there's some factors limiting the growth of something like Hadoop in the cloud around privacy concerns, regulations, things like that, but when you think about some of the benefits of cloud and how they could be applied to big data, the, the elasticity, um, you know, that is one challenge when you're going, when you're going on premise with a traditional deployment uh, for Hadoop. You know, you still, you still got to buy the, and, and provision the hardware, um, and you know, it's, it's difficult to scale up quickly if, if that's your model. If you're using a cloud environment, you can scale up, scale down. Yeah, so, so actually, the talk for a second, because you know, in the infrastructure space, you know, we don't want to have to worry about buying the machines and doing it. You know, VMware over a decade ago said, you know, if I want to move fast, if we put it in virtual environments, uh, that's going to speed our time to deployment. Um, and you know, virtualization has spawned a, you know, lots of applications, and they are making progress with what they call big data extensions. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was originally Project Serengeti. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, people look at two things when they're looking at virtualized. Number one, is uh, I'm worried about performance, and that's been something that VMware has gone application by application from you know, test dev through mission critical apps, and they're fighting it with big data to prove that even virtualized they can provide that performance. And secondly, architecturally, um, because when most people think VMware, they think kind of traditional infrastructure. I mean, you know, you know, not not to besmirch, you know, the the typical, you know, server and storage guys, but my 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 price per node uh, was more expensive than what, you know, Jeff Hammerbacher and the Hadoop guys, you know, wanted to create. However, there are players creating new models of infrastructure, um, many of them leveraging virtualization that great, give great price points, leverage things like Flash. Uh, on the Wikibon site, we've talked about an emerging architecture called ServerSAN that could potentially in the future fit this need. Uh, happen to, you know, uh, one of those ServerSAN companies, Nutanix, uh, is uh, here. Um, and, you know, to said that when they've got, you know, 30 to 50 nodes, that fits great into one of their environments. One of the biggest challenges is that the, the company that know how to do virtualization and the channel that sells that type of solution, 
they're not the same ones that know Hadoop. So skill set <laughs> is a major impediment uh, to mm. getting this environment, because Jeff, as you know, you know the, the, the infrastructure guy and the guy that did you know, BI and is now looking at Hadoop, it, those, those are totally different worlds. And, and one of the things I love is when you and I get to talk to these guys and help them you know, understand how to move forward. Well, yeah, increasingly you've gotta, they've got to start talking, because one impacts the other in this new, I mean, these two, these worlds are colliding. Um, and in order to get the most out of both technologies, these, there has to be better communication and not looked at, we have to break down these silos, both the data silos and the way people operate internally. So um, it'll be really interesting. I mean, there's, like, like I said, I didn't, haven't heard a lot of cloud discussion at this show, and you know, that's somewhat understandable. We're talking about, uh, focused on Hadoop, and majority, vast majority of those deployments are on premise and you know, traditional scale out, uh, you know, direct attached storage environments. So it's underst understandable, but it will be interesting. And you know, VMware is here, and and some others. And you know, they have a uh, they have a plan moving forward to kind of spur adoption uh, in in the big data space. I mean, you talk about performance. I mean, there's there's concerns about performance in traditional environments. You, you add the virtualization aspect, and and that just make, make, makes it more complex. But the value proposition is there if they can get the performance uh, that people are going to require. I mean, we're talking about going real time here, people are doing real time workflows. We're hearing from customers that are you know, on the ground, have built applications that are processing data in real time, getting real time insights. Um, so performance is increasingly very yeah, important. Yeah, and Jeff, I mean, we've seen the cloud guys are really looking at performance even more. When we were at uh, AWS reInvent last year, I mean, they, they are really increasing the use of Flash, uh, giving instances that you know can give much better performance. Um, I stopped by and talked to Rackspace and Microsoft, and obviously they've got a big push to try to get people to you know leverage either hosted mm -hmm. or public cloud environments uh, for, for that. So uh, you know, definitely uh, you know lots of uh, you know, upward uh, potential uh, mm -hmm. for, for cloud and big data environments. Yeah. Well, it was a great day today. I mean, we, we talked about a lot of interesting use cases. We, you know, I think the big topics, the big takeaways today were uh, all around enterprise grade capabilities. Security was top of mind in the last couple of days. Um, certainly high availability, things like, um, you know, performance, backup and recovery. So, you know, I think the, the mood here, as I've said uh, today, is, is, you know, there's that excitement that you would expect from a, an ecosystem like this, but it's also, there's a, there's a level of seriousness that maybe it wasn't here in the past. Um, I think that's because some of the topics we're talking about. Um, but again, another great day in the Cube. Thank you for watching. We're going to wrap up day two here. We'll be back tomorrow for another day of coverage. Um, make sure you tune in. We'll be starting around 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. So catch us then and we'll have another full day of coverage. Thanks for watching.